Babe, I saw your call. I hope everything is okay. Everything is not okay. I hope I did not interrupt anything. No, not at all. I wanted to go see my niece before I got your call. Thank you for not going because I need someone to talk to. What is it? Is it about your husband again? I don't even want to talk about my husband's behavior. That one has been acting weird for the past few days now. <laughs> Sorry for laughing. But what could make him act that way? Is it still about that child issue? What else would make him act strange towards me? All I know is that he will stop it when he's tired. So what is the real problem? I am really worried, Jane. My things are missing in my house. Even my husband's money. <laughs> so it took you this long to realize you are living with a shameless thief. I know you never liked Felicia, but you don't have to accuse her because of the hatred you feel for her. Don't be silly, Monica. Who has been stealing your husband's money? If it's not Felicia, then it is you. How can I steal my husband's money when I have more than enough in my account? I don't even know why I am involving myself in this. Have you and Felicia met before she became my maid? Yes. That girl is a thief. I have witnessed her steal from people on the street more than once. I don't want to hand her over to the police because she is a well known person to me you knew she is a thief yet you let me take her into my house didn't i warn you about her you didn't give me any reasons now you only said i should kick her out you said don't claim to be wise when you are not someone has been stealing your money and your husband's money and your mind did not tell you she is the one stealing them all i want now is to kick her out of my house it is very simple all you have to do is to keep some money on the bed when you know it is time for her to clean your room. Then walk in one time to see her take the money. Well, in as much as I would want her to stay, I can't take the risk. She steals literally everything. Just do as I say. She has to go. <laughs> Who could have dropped such amount of money on this bed? Maybe Joseph forgot it or Monica. Man, all the money I have stolen is not enough for me. I still need more. If it is Joseph that forgot the money, then he will surely remember it. That guy is just too stingy for my liking. But if it is Monica, ah, that one is always so forgetful. She will never remember she kept her money here. I think she's the one that kept this money. After taking this last one, I have to run away. For real, this house. Finally, finally. I now know the thief that has been stealing my husband's money and mine. What? Welcome, ma. Well, welcome to you too. Nonsense. Chai Felicia, how could you? I'm really sorry, ma. It's the devil's handwork. I'm not usually like this. <laughs> You're not usually like this. I have dropped it back where I saw it. Felicia, I am really disappointed in you. If you needed money, why didn't you tell us instead of stealing from us? I'm really sorry, ma. I don't know what came over me. How much of our money have you stolen so far? It is up to a hundred thousand naira. Were you the one that stole my gold jewelry? Yes, ma. Please forgive me. It was the devil's handwork. I know. All the blame is always shifted to the devil. Please forgive me. I promise it will never happen again. Felicia. Yes, ma. I am going to teach you a lesson you will never forget so soon. You dare come to my house and steal from me, I will make sure you rot in jail. Ah, oh, madam, please forgive me, ma. I swear I will never do this again. There is no need to beg me. The police are already on their way. Ah, oh, I am finished. Please, ma. Don't, don't, don't do this to me, ma. I am a changed person now. <laughs> you changed overnight. Isn't that funny? The police are almost here. Get ready.
welcome, honey. I have been sitting here for you. Okay. Baby, don't tell me you're still angry with me. No. Please don't reply me this way. You have tormented me too much already by not talking to me for the past few days now. Don't cry, please. I'm angry with you, but I don't want to see you cry. Stop being angry with me now. I am very sorry. I promise to throw those drugs away. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. I don't like it when we are like this with each other in the house. Please throw those drugs away, like you promised. I want to have kids as beautiful as you. Okay, baby. I need a glass of water. Felicia, please come. Felicia is no longer here. Why? Did she travel or something? Yes, she traveled to the police station. She will be there for a very long time. Why? Did she engage in a fight? I later discovered she was a thief behind all our missing money. Right from time, I knew she was the one that has been stealing my money. But I didn't want to offend you by kicking her out. Hmm. This time around, I caught her red-handed. And she said she has stolen up to 100,000 naira from us so far. Ah, that girl is a shameless thief. How can a pretty girl like her engage herself in such dirty acts? Did you just call her pretty? Sorry, my love. How can an ugly girl like her engage herself in such a dirty act? That place she is will be her new home. I don't have plans of releasing her anytime soon. Well, I will leave it for you to handle. So how are you going to cope with the chores? I will try, though it won't be easy, but I will look for a new mate soon. Don't worry, I will also help you out. Thank you, my love. Go inside and freshen up while I set the table. Okay, honey. Mama, sorry I came late. How are you? You promised you were going to spend the weekend with me, but you never showed up. Sorry, Ma. I have been busy. In fact, it skipped my mind. You have been busy doing what? Shopping and going for a massage? <laughs> Chai, Mama. Now you know your daughter's favorite right things. So, Monica, you mean to tell me that you forgot to come stay with me because of shopping? No, no. I didn't say that. You are the one that said it. Well, thank God I'll be leaving you and your wahala very soon. My husband mentioned to me that you'll be leaving Nigeria very soon to go stay with one of your daughters. Yes, you had right. And by the time I come back, if I hear you call me mama again, I will deal with you mercilessly. <laughs> the mama G herself. Don't worry, when you leave Nigeria and return, things will change. I hope it will be for the better. Of course, we don't pray for bad things to happen. And I'll be coming back to carry my grandchildren. Amen. No, I pray God should answer our prayers very soon. He will. So when are you leaving? My flight is 3 p.m. tomorrow. So I'll be there before that time. Okay, what about your maid? Have you informed her? Yes, yeah, she's away. Chai, Mama, I'll miss you. Please try and come back as soon as possible. I will, my dear. I want you to take me to the airport tomorrow and be here on time. Okay, mommy. And please, I want you to do me a favor. I will do anything for you, especially now that you're traveling. I want you to take in Linda for me. You have always wanted a maid. I recommend her for you. She's a very nice girl. Oh, thank you for the information. I am really in need of a maid. Can I take her today? So that will be tomorrow when I travel. Okay, mom. I am so happy to have such a loving mother-in-law like you. I couldn't have asked for more. Thank you, my dear. Just take care of my son for me. My love, sorry for delaying. I know you want to revenge me for all the time you have been waiting for me. Of course not. The traffic delayed me. It was hectic today. It's okay. What matters is that you are here. How are you doing, my love? You didn't go to your warehouse today. No, I left it for my boys to handle. O'Shea, businessman. <laughs> Life is sweet. You. <laughs> Life no sweet me, as we are not yet married. I'm still an incomplete man. Okay, so you said you have something to discuss with me. Do you want to call off the engagement just like Emerson did? Come on, my love. Why would you say that? Emerson and I are two different people. You know this, this saying that says, birds of the same feather flock together. I am just trying to be careful. I would never do such a thing to you. I love you and I want to marry you. 
So you said what you want to say is important. Yes, that is because you are important to me. Okay, what is your point now? Are you here to discuss me? Babe, it's been a while I proposed to you and you haven't said a word about the wedding preparations nor seeing your parents. Ah, uh, I really love the fact that you are worried about it being delayed. It is getting too long now. If you are worried about money, I have it in SS. I'm not worried about money. I actually have this project I am trying to fix. It is a little bit tough. What is delaying our wedding? I am still working on the project and, and a little distraction might ruin the whole thing. So I want to stay focused and complete it. How long will it take? Just give me two months and I will be done. I promise you that as soon as I am done, we'll start the wedding preparations. Okay then, if you say so. Please, two months should be two months. Promise. Welcome to my house, Linda. Even though I have been here before, it still looks strange to me. I must comment. This is one of the best houses in this state. Thank you. Only the rich can afford it. I can see that. So, Linda, how old are you and are you married? I am not yet married and I am not up to 30. I brought you here because of Mama's wish. She really trusts you, you know. Oh, Mama, I am missing her already. I wish you took me along with her. So, as I was saying, you have to choose. Either you come to work from your house or you live here and work. Which do you prefer? I would like to live here and work. I don't have any other place to stay. The only reason I would let you stay is because of your aunt. She is a very good friend of mine. Thank you. I just hope you don't start stealing my money like the last person did. What? Your old maid stole your money? Yes, she did and I put her behind the bars. Why now? You should have just asked her instead of putting her behind bars. Excuse me? Are you trying to dictate for me what I would have done? Sorry, ma. See, let me warn you. I have zero tolerance for nonsense. If a pin in this house gets missing and you think I will just sack you without letting you pay, then you lie. Sorry, ma. Do your job diligently and you will enjoy your stay here. Okay, ma. You are not allowed to leave this house anyhow you like unless you are going to the market. Yes, ma. And if you think I will tolerate a bad behavior from you because of your aunt, then you have to think twice. Okay, ma. So many people are out there looking for this job. So if at any point you feel you can't do it anymore, then you can walk away. Okay, ma. And lastly, I will repeat myself again. If a pin gets missing in my house, I will treat you like a dirty thief. Yes, ma. Let's go in so I can show you to your room. Okay, ma. <laughs> 